for you're aware, it was not by any evil, bad person. Um, but what you need to know is that what, there was a mistake, and fortunately, nobody was hurt. But what we've asked you to do, well, I'll go into the priesthood and the society and, and talk with them as well. Let them know that what's occurred. There have been some other threats against other individuals in a different ward. And so there's a particular level of precaution that another, that the other ward, the Sherwood Hills ward, has taken. And as part of that, uh, it was a mistake because a safety gun got, came off her gun and it did discharge inside that, inside that, uh, uh, the, 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 the opening area right there by the front doors. So that's what's happened, but we'd appreciate, I know you have your free freedom to do as you will, appreciate you not spreading that around because then that could incite the, the issue that they were trying to protect against. It's by chatter, social media, or otherwise. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions about it? Do you want to say anything about it? You can talk, you can talk to your mom and dad about it. You can talk to here. That's fine. But I would, we'd rather you not post, hey, a gun went off today at church. That will head, hit headline news and go and can even go national. And then we've really created a situation that would be hard to control. So I'm asking you kindly just to, to respect that. But yes, if you're nervous especially, or if you have other concerns, please talk to one of your advisors, talk to your parents, talk to us, talk to me, whatever you like. We're not telling you just to ignore it and squelch it. I'm trying to explain what has happened so that you understand what happened and why. I can't explain the whole why because they were checking the, the, the firearm in the moment and it discharged and they ought not to have done that best not to even bring a gun to a church or anything of that nature. However, in the world we live in, and that there are also individual rights to do things, we have to respect that right and also be prepared in case of a time of emergency. Any questions that you have or concerns that you may have? <clears throat> So the person, sorry, so the person had the gun, had it here lawfully, I mean, you can still carry or whatever. It was all scary. Like, they didn't need to have any sense of it. Yeah, wait, it's the same crowd. You know, like, that's, that's kind of scary if they didn't have a mental stability factor. Like, that was no, it is. No, I, I think you're right. But that's up to an individual. So, to your point, I grew up in a house that didn't have guns because... My parents believed, as I do personally, individuals have that right to have a gun and bear right to bear arms. But there are a lot of accidents happen with a firearm unintentionally, without problem. These individuals have been trained, so that's why it truly is an accident and definitely unforeseen. Can you speak? To, I think there's some anxiety in the room. Can sure. you speak to the level of like? It's been contained, or the gun's gone gun home. The gun has left the building. Yes, so that, I think Just that will help. Everything, everything has left the building, yeah. and that, yeah. and the individual who had it will not bring that particular, uh, will not be bringing it back to, to church. I've had that direct conversation with So well, the gun has left the building. That's and the that gun will never come back. And yet, and I don't mean to create more anxiety, but I think you're, you're old enough, you can handle what happened. You obviously heard it. So I would like to talk about it. Do you have any other concerns? I, are you, I don't know your name, I'm sorry. I think the first girl I had a crush on was named <laughs> Just saying, just saying, it's a good name.